Hello everyone, Patty's Chance here from Patty's Chance Hauls. We have a haul for you. Me and William went to the Dollar Tree yesterday after we went shopping for my mother and we found some stuff for the house and some fun finds as well. So we're gonna go ahead and show you and whenever he comes along, I make him on, become on video. And what is your name? Get him up. This is Spanish William today. All right, I'm gonna start. We can probably take turns. We should probably do the um, cold stuff first so we can go get those put away um i did pick myself up one pint of or 24 ounces i don't know if that's a pint of arctic classic cookies and cream ice cream i haven't had ice cream in a while we've bought ice cream haven't eaten it but i figured this is a small size and i'm going to dive right into this after i film this video so can't wait to have that and then william picked up some frozen stuff as well uh, well yeah the frozen stuff he loves these the uh frozen orange aids and the cherry limeade so there's also the lemonade one but he doesn't care for that too much so he picked up one of each, or not one of each i should say a lot of each of these so um we just brought out one of each to show you guys ten. ten of them five and five you should have seen his cart maybe i'll insert a picture of what his cart was starting to look like um and then there's one more cold thing he got the hershey's thing right there what is this hershey's milkshake cookies and cream milkshake yep and do you like these yep so he like he picked this up at uh, Dollar Tree and it's 12 fluid ounces. You shake well. Um, it's by Hershey, so it's name brand, and he seems to enjoy them. So there you go. All right, go ahead and put um, these three things back in the freezer in this new fridge, and then we'll continue. All right, he's back. He put everything away. All right, I'm gonna start. Um, one of the first things I picked up was this uh, Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit. This is number 1100. I haven't seen 1100 before because what I've been picking up was the 1099, which um, when I was at the store, I realized that there were two different ones and they looked almost exactly the same. Maybe a little shade darker, but uh, yeah, so I picked up some of the 1100 for the Hard Candy uh, Contour and Sculpt Kit. All right, Guillermo has uh, something he wants to show you, I guess. Show him what you show them what you want to show them next. All right, he, oh, go ahead and show him. Why am I talking for him? I got two movies. One is called The Widow's Might. Who's in it? It says uh, John Moore, Cameron Hedrick, Colin Gunn, and Angela Coates. Never heard of any of those people. And what's the other movie? This one's called Queen and Country. I had never heard of these actors before. And yeah, this is BBC, so this is definitely um, British. British. So there is that movie as well. So he only picked up two movies. He picked them up on his own. We can add to his collection. All right. I did find on the makeup run, I did find the Jessie's Girl Mineral, Mineral Rush Mineral Powder um, right there. So it includes mineral makeup powder and buffing brush. So I picked that up to have. It's your turn. Oh, I got some more flarp. Flarp slime. Oh my gosh. She hates it. I do hate that because, you know, it can get into carpet. All right. Well, all right. Each his own. All right. So we, um, I say all right a lot. Uh, I thought that they, uh, blah, blah. I thought these were cute. Um, this little butterfly candle holder. They had different colors. I just picked out the pink one. I just thought it was cute to sit on a shelf because it's all butterfly theme. I just thought that was pretty. Your turn. I got a fun little game. If we ever get to our games, it's called Family Feud. Platinum Edition. So it's a little mini box. Me and William will have to give that a try. Maybe we can play it later. All right. I did pick up these. Um, Freshen up flushable moist wipes, 30 wipes in each pack. Picked up like four of them. I love these things. They're actually better than um, the ones you get at like Walmart, you know, the Walmart brand and stuff. And I keep them in my purse and they have come in handy because sometimes you end up in a bathroom that does not have toilet paper. So this, uh, this is a, a lifesaver right here. So if you see these, pick them up, the flushable wipes, love them. Your turn. Me? Oh. I bought myself some more Kleenex. I haven't used the other ones I've gotten. I have to kind of collect them. Yeah, I had picked them up for him in the past, and he says that I didn't get him these, so he picked up this little 
pack. It's a four pack. Maybe you did. I'm trying to look at it now. But... Yeah, well, if you did, it's fine. Um, it's a two. Oh, it's a two pack of ten three ply white tissues per pack, uh, and it's got the uh, Silver Civil War Captain America theme in it. All right, and then I picked up William this taco over the world i don't know if i got him this one yet but i figured he'd like it so it's just a little zip pouch it's very thin very thin so i got that for him oh all right you can put that over by your stuff all right uh william's turn oh yeah one of their cheap red baskets and it's red so what are you gonna use that for? I'm gonna use this for my dirty clothes so I don't have to keep throwing them all, all over my floor. Despite the fact he already does have hampers, but he doesn't put the clothes away fast enough. So this was his idea to clean up the dirties. All right. I did pick up these poster stickers with the rainbow letters. I thought this would be cute for friend mail. I could spell out things on the boxes or something if I want. So you get two sides. And you get some punctuation as well. And I, I picked up three to have in my little stash of stuff for friend mail. Your turn. William got a lot more than I did. I got Avenger Await glass jar for pennies, quarters, or anything you any put your mind to. Can think what you mind to. Coins. Got a little slot. Avenger Awaits. If you watch one of my previous videos, I got him the one that says save on it. I showed him these at the Dollar Tree since he was with me this time, and he picked out this one for him as well. All right, I saw this up by the register, and I was like, oh, is that like a chapstick case? Um, and I read it, and it's actually a coin purse. I wouldn't use this for coins, but I think that's perfect to put your chapstick in so you're not always losing it. So you put your little chapstick in there. Let's see, I have one probably here somewhere. There we go. So I got this one here and there we go. And then you put it in here like this. It's a keychain. You can put it right on your uh, purse or your keys and you'll always have your chapstick. So I thought that was neat. And of course I got it in purple, but that was a neat idea. And I thought about it on my own. <laughs> All right, your turn. I bought some sanding sponges. Sanding sponges for sanding what? Anything. It could be metal, wood. All right, that's my handyman for you. <laughs> All right. Um, I did pick up these metallic markers with bullet tip, assorted colors. There we go, just a four pack of those to have on hand. Like, I need markers like I need a hole in the head, but couldn't pass that deal up, and they were by Jot. All right, your turn. I had these when I was a kid. I lived in Florida. Called you who's he loves those things he picked up many many packs of those as well i'm telling you my total at this dollar tree haul was 155 dollars i swear a hundred of it was just his stuff so yeah that's his you who stash so this is definitely an essential haul for william because he stocked up on a lot of stuff as you will see as we continue all right and let's see i did find a wish list item of mine i saw someone haul these and i was like i need these all right, why did my voice get so high? All right, so these little fold-out books that have post-it notes in, in list pad. I just thought those were really cute. It's by Jot, and so they have three different ones. So there's this one, like that, and then this purple one with the flowers, with that, and this last one, and this matches one of their clipboards, I just realized. Um, there's that one with the little pink and blue and dark pink colors on it. Yeah, so I was really excited to find those because those were uh, high on my wish list since I saw someone else haul them. Your turn. I bought a sharpening stone. This can be for knives from the kitchen or pocket knives. There you go. You heard it from William. All right. Um, I picked up a couple of the Crafter Square paper craft stickers for friend mail. I love to put these on friend mail in my cards and stuff like that. 
Um, I'm always repurchasing designs and trying to find new designs to use. So I love that one. Up next, he's got a lot more than I do. So I'm, I'm going to be done in about three more items. I bought a lot of these. A lot. A lot. A lot. Probably $40 worth of both. Yep. So, yeah. So you got those to have on hand for sustenance. <laughs> I can't. I can't deny him on the food. All right. I picked up some more stickers that were on my wish list. This set here, I don't think I got the entire set, but I got the ones I liked. So these are the puffy stickers, nine piece, imported by Greenbrier. I just thought these were adorable. These were on my wish list as well. There's those. And these cats, these pink cats, I think are adorable. And I couldn't resist the sloths. And this middle one where it says cry, cry, that's how I feel right now with everything going on. A sloth is my spirit animal. <laughs> All right, your turn. I got two more things. He's got a lot. Not these all. all right. He picked up some Star Wars bags. Did I get two? Oh, okay. I got Star Wars. I think this is. This is Star Wars. I can't remember which movie this is, but it's one of the newer ones. Alright. I bought another Star Wars. It's pretty much all Star Wars. Can't beat them for a buck. That one is my favorite, the blue one. I know you don't have that one. Alright. Um, more stickers. And this one is just some more cats that were on my wish list. And they're just 20 piece stickers. They got a little puffiness to them. Just thought those were cute. I got two packs to have for friend mail. All right, William, your turn. All right, so at night, some things have been falling off my walls. Very spooky. So I'm going to try these as plan C. Plan C. Plan D is just putting nails in my wall. What was A? I forgot. Okay, <laughs> I'm just curious. I got four of these. Four of those, okay. Have at it, kiddo. All right, this is the last thing I picked up, and there was a limit for it, but I did only take two. Um, again, I keep these on hand for friends and family because I already have my own stash of toilet paper. And it's the four roll two ply tissue, uh, strong and soft, uh, septic safe, distributed by Green Buyer International. And they were pretty stocked on some toilet paper at that Dollar Tree, so that was, that was good to know. All right, so that is it for me. William just has a bunch of stuff left he has to show you here. Okay. So I brought my favorite, Orange Cups, Mandarin. And how many of those do you think you got? Maybe like five? No. Twelve, no, least. like 20. He took every yeah. one off the shelf. So I'm sorry to the people at that Dollar Tree. If you wanted them, William took them all. Mm -hmm. He's addicted to those things. Let's switch so that way you're... Um... Uh, my stuff is over here, though. Okay, that makes sense. I got some M&M's. I think mm -hmm. I grabbed a whole bunch more of these. Yes, he did. There's a ton of those in, that was that were in the cart as well. Probably 12 packets of those. Bought more of these. And I know I already bought him all these, but he insists I didn't. I insist you didn't get me Batman. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, you probably got me all four of these. See? Now he admits it. Yeah. At all. Yeah, the little squishies, hard squishies. I don't really usually wear these because they're not prescription, but who knows, one day I might. And why? Because they're red. Uh-huh. He loves red. But today you're wearing your blue glasses. He loves colored, solid colored eyeglasses for prescription glasses. So as you see, he switches them up every once in a while. He has red pairs, yellow pairs. I haven't seen my yellow ones in ages. Blue pairs, white pairs. I get them from Zenny Optical for him. All right, what else? I bought some more chapsticks. Lately my lips have been chapped. Yep. So he picked him up some salsa some chapsticks. I should have bought you a chapstick holder. Probably the pink, the pink one with the little tassel. All right, I'm just kidding. All right. This looked cool because I had gears on it. Yep. It's just a composition notebook. Very nice. Another one with notes. I think I got him the green one of that one. Yeah, but now I got the red one, which is better. I think that's more pink. Yeah, it looks red. All right. To each their own. All right, I think we're in the last stretch here. Just some books he picked up, and then we'll be all done, guys. I got a book called Harsh Words. I think during this quarantine, I might finally read a book. 
<laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh out loud on that one. Here's another book. It's called The Infinity of You and Me. By J.Q. Coyle. A novel. I like the color, color of the book. It's blue and a little purple. Alright, I think they got the point. Oh, I was just reading the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one looked interesting. My Near Death Adventures by Allison DeCamp. Let's see. I almost died again. Alright, here's what it looks like inside. It's just a novel. It's even got some pictures. That's pretty cool. I've seen that one there before. This one seemed interesting. It's almost like the book that we recently got. Like, how to do stuff. Oh, yeah. It says, Old School, Life in the Sane Lane. By who? Bill O'Reilly? By Bill O'Reilly and Bruce Fairstein. Fairstein. Fear. Fear. Let's see what that looks like. Here, I'll read the back up here. Not the whole This thing. retailed for $27. Let's see. It says on the back. I'm not going to read what it says on top. I'm going to just read this. You're old school if you dress up for the airplane, drive your stick shift, close business correspondence with sincerely yours. You're a snowflake if you wear a tracksuit on the airplane, fantasize about owning a self-driving car, sign off with col culture, right? Uh, sign off with see you later. Oh. It's C-U-L-8-R. <laughs> I'm 42 and he's 25 and I figured out the slang. Okay. <laughs> this last book is American Innovations Stories by Rivka Kalchin, author of Atmospheric Disturbances. American Innovation. It has a cat on it. That's probably why he got it. And it's a novel. It's stories. I don't know. This retailed for $24. We didn't say how much the other ones retailed for. This one? Okay, we said that one. The ones before that. Let me see the one before that. The Near Death Adventures. I uh, can't see the price because the sticker's on the back. All right, what's your other one? This one retailed for $18.99. And the Harsh Gods one was $7.99 because it's a paperback. All right. So that is it for this haul, and I hope you enjoyed having William here. I know a lot of people love seeing him on camera with me, so I blessed you with Guillermo's presence. All right, Guillermo, got anything else to say? Nope. All right, we'll see you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. All right, you heard it from him. All right, guys, you all have a great day. I love you all. Bye-bye for now.